Hey, this is Ross, the Mindful Guitarist, and today I want to talk to you about triads. So, the song that I just played is one that I wrote using only triads. Um, specifically on the D string, G, and B strings. Um, and that song was in the key of A, and it only used three shapes, and those are the shapes I want to teach you today. So the first shape is the shape that you would make for an A chord. Just leave out the open strings, so all across the second fret. The second shape is one you might make for like a minor 7 chord when the root's on the A string. B minor 7 is this example. But we're just going to take out everything that's not on the D, G, or B strings. And then uh, we have a triad. That's like if you had a major seven chord uh, with the root on the A string. But we're just gonna keep it on the D, G, and B string. So we've got try number one, just the A shape, the minor seven shape, but remember we're just doing the three strings, and then the major seven shape, just on those three strings. And since we're in the key of A, it sits really nicely on the guitar to take those triad shapes all the way up the neck as you saw me do in that opening song. So I'm going to go ahead and do those shapes just in the order that they happen in the key of A so that you can see how they flow together. Check it out. I like triads a lot is because they help you with your rhythm guitar playing tremendously as you heard me demonstrate um, in the key in guitar friendly keys so in the key of E D A G triads are really great because you can usually include open strings with them or you can modify them slightly to include open strings in the triad and they just sound fantastic uh, so in the key of A what you might try doing is just taking out the middle note, so the note that's on the G string, and just letting that G string ring out, and it just sounds awesome. You get that nice open sound with a good sustain. Uh, it creates some interesting intervals when you leave the G string open as well. Cool. So, uh, what I want you to try and do is just try and work the triads up the neck until you feel pretty good with that and then make that modification where you just leave the G string open. And yeah, just add that into your rhythm playing. I think you'll find it to be really useful. Um, there's obviously triads on all the strings and we'll go over that more in the future, but the fastest way I've found to apply cool triad stuff is just in the key of A. It's just such a great key for guitar. So just try something where you start on an A chord and then you mess around with those shapes and see what works for you. Alright, thanks a lot and uh, I'll see you next time.